Hello everyone and welcome back, Meet Department here, I'm so glad you could join me for another video today. So we're back in Tapping Legends X guys for another update this week. It is the medieval world and as you see, I'm standing under the night, hatching the eggs from the crowned egg itself. So let's go ahead and see if we got anything good, but you're here because you saw the title, right? I hatched two secrets already within the first half an hour to hour of the update guys, I have one of the top crowns and one of the top 10 golden crowns as well. I hatched a crown and a golden one. I'm gonna show you the stats, show you how to improve my pet power and all that good stuff. We're gonna tap into all the new stuff that maybe this update does have, if any, I don't know. And just overall show you what my team has, guys. So I'm sitting here now enjoying this two times luck event. Now last week I was lucky and I hatched the number one sheriff's badge, which was the best secret from the last Wild West update, guys. But now we're in the medieval realm and let me tell you, this is awesome. I love medieval theme stuff. I love the whole aspect of the castles, the knights, the swords. Look at the vendor, guys. It's got the meat and the sausage hanging, guys. Nothing better than a nice slab of meat at the vendor for the meat department. You know what I'm saying? I think you know what I'm saying, guys. This is awesome right here. So, oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and free cam it like we always do. Let's go around and check out the medieval world from different perspectives than you normally see. So here it is from the top view. This is it, the simple island right here. And of course, we have the awesome golden knight holding the sword and you got the crown right here for the actual egg. And then we have, you know, just the little castle walls around. We got a little bit of building supplies. We got this awesome stone looking chest and you can break that for some pet tokens. And overall, just some good detail as always. It's always top notch. There's even a little fire with a little bit of flame, particle, action, sparky things going on right here. So pretty cool guys, pretty cool. So let's get out of that right here. And I'm in the server with my boys right here. We're just hatching away. We got Huntman, we got Bozo in here, Oculix. We got all kinds of stuff in here, my guys. So let's go ahead and check it out right now. Uh, I wanna show you the pets right now. So here they are, guys. We got the number six golden right here, the Royal Crown. It's not even leveled up to max yet. It's still going and it's 3.82 quadrillion taps. By far my best pet. Definitely boosting me up with the five leaderboard pets. It's number six golden and it is awesome. But we also hatched the number 12 Royal Crown. I hatched this first and this is maxed out at level 40. 2.17 quadrillion taps. So you see the gold one is going to be about double that when it's all said and done and it's giving me a super boost here with all of my guys. Here's the number one sheriff badge from last week guys. Still got him in my bags. I got my rainbow friendly fridge I hatched. Man, I'm loving it. I'm loving it indeed. So let's go ahead and show what all these bad boys look like right here. So let's get over here where there's some space to actually check them out and here you go. So here's the golden crown in the front, the rain or the regular royal crown secret right here. We've got a couple of the little sheriff cacti from last week. There's the number one sheriff's badge. And of course, we got the leaderboard pets hanging out with the rainbow friendly fridge in the back. Those are the big boys right there. So not too bad at all. It's a very versatile team. And these crowns are big, but they're actually kind of cool. And you can see around them. So it's not that bad. So let's go ahead and hide that right there. So is there anything else new to this update, guys? The things I did check out and I always check out immediately are the upgrade machine. Scrolling through it, it looked like there are any ruby upgrades or any token upgrades this time around. So you don't have that. Also, if we head over to the spawn world, which, wow, that took a lot of uh, scrolls to actually get up there nowadays. We're going to go ahead and check out the tapping machine. This is something you should also be checking out every week. Just in case, scroll down and there's nothing new here. The hyperwave from last week at 250 times is still the best one. So pretty much that's it. I know there's a new season five right here. So you can go ahead and, you know, do all the daily quests and eventually collect some of these unique exclusive pets, tokens and all that good stuff. So I have a couple of these done right here, not all of them at all. And to look at the leaderboards, guys, I'm still number three on taps, rebirth, number four on eggs and my pet power fluctuates. But right now I climbed back up to number 14 which is good because the tapping shield is coming next month and this is for the number or the top tapping players in the game for the month so hopefully i can land another silver one in there last month i ended at number four with the taps and right now as we stand i am number three and i'm you know i got a decent little lead but even in the top 10 i'm looking pretty good to stay up in that top 10 for quite a while there. So here's the pet power. I'm not even on that one. Most eggs, I'm 27.5. So I'm, I'm a million above the next guy and almost a, two million under that guy. What? Oh my goodness, guys. That's insane. 
and then of course we have the most rebirth so we're going hand in hand with that and the taps here so i'm not seeing why i shouldn't be able to keep the top 10 at the worst case scenario i'm always going to be in the top 25 i'm guessing so either way i'm going to have a bunch of leaderboard pets they may not all be silver but the bronzes will be just all right with that one guys so that's what we have going on there the summer event did end guys and actually before the summer event did end i actually hopped on that egg because it was given a 2 million world boost as opposed to the wild west which was the newest world last week it was only given a 12 or 1.2 million boost so what you had to do was pretty much either sacrifice hatching some of the newest secrets for that tap boost and that's exactly what I did but I was hatching of course and I was lucky enough to get the 50 million divine trophy it's number 310 so this is my first event uh, secret in a long time so I'm happy to get this because it's more on the rare end there's only 300 of these trophies in the normal version so I'm pretty happy to have that but I still got some of my old golden pets right here and we're looking pretty sharp a couple of sheriff cacti honestly I give a lot of these pets away to my alts and, and friends and all that stuff because I don't really need them in the long run guys so sometimes I join public servers and just give stuff away so maybe you'll be lucky enough and see me in one of those at some point to actually get yourself a nice little pet as well guys so I do want to go back and check out the index before we wrap this video out now I've been doing some work people have been helping me out with this and I'm up to 91% now, so that's pretty good because it's 1,013 pets collected. That's a lot of pets, guys. This game's been going on for, like, uh, what, six months now? Can you believe it? And I still have a lot more to go. So I filled in a little bit of my index with some of, like, the Rainbow Aqua Monster and uh, the Fiery Guardian and all that stuff. So that's very helpful. But I still need to catch up on a lot, and especially the exclusives because these bad boys come out every single update. Mr. Stickman actually looks pretty cool. I wonder what that actually looks like in person. Wow, I just noticed that. That's pretty cool. But they get pretty costly, so I typically can't buy those, unfortunately, because I don't have the bow, bow bucks for them. But some people let me borrow them, so I really do appreciate that one as well. And I like to run down here just to take a little nostalgic look at all of the worlds, man. This just goes to... Oh, no, what did we do? We fell, dude. Come on. So I like to take a look down memory lane here because, man... This is awesome. I remember when the game first came out, it was hyped and hyped, and obviously over time it starts to go down and down as less features come out and player base moves on to other games. But, dude, this game has a lot of islands, guys. Like, they've been pumping out updates consistently every single week, so much that we have a new island now with the medieval updated portal here. And I like to take a look at this because I love to see the little theme it has around it. It's got two castle walls with two different banners, the red and the blue team on here. So I think that's pretty cool. They even go and do the attention to detail on the portals when most people just go and click it on the menu itself. They still go out of their way to do that and put it on there. So I definitely appreciate that. I like to enjoy all the art and the time they spend building this stuff, even if we're only getting a new egg to hatch on the new update, guys. That's all right, because it's fun trying to get those secrets. So until next time, take care, good luck hatching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.